YMC, Young Man's Conversation. Top of the day. It's a beautiful morning. The sun is out. The trees are still green. Sometimes the grass isn't. But hey, it's up to us to determine, you know, how we're gonna take care of our lawn, take care of our business, how our day is gonna start, how our day is gonna end or finish. But you know what it all starts with, right? Thought. It comes from that thought. You have that thought and that thought may be whatever you see. You know, um, I'm gonna have a fucked up day today. So that thought is like a trigger. It starts triggering other thoughts that are tied into that idea, that vision that you had. Then it starts creating situations to meet that end result for you. So next thing you know, Telling everybody, oh man, it's gonna be a bad day for me. And you end up having a bad day. Bad day, man. And you didn't deserve it. But you made yourself deserve it by putting that in the air, by feeding that thought more food, more other ideas to help it come to this end result. You know, you gotta be careful because sometimes people will give you suggestions while you're hanging out. Consciously, you think you're not picking it up, but subconsciously, you're picking it all up. And then you're laying there, and this idea comes to you to do something, and then it's not really for you. You gotta be careful, man. You know, who you're giving thoughts out to? Who are you giving your ideas to? You know, what kind of thoughts are you passing around? Because once you give that thought to that person, that person's going to take it in, dwell on it, and form something and grow something from it. Good, bad, or ugly. You know, if you can focus more on not taking thoughts, I mean, uh, creating thoughts, because all the everything's already here, so you're not actually creating any new thought. It's new for you because it hasn't been exposed to you yet. But all these things have already been existing, man. So, it's taking the thoughts that are good, these ideas that are tied into you, and leave the other ones behind, leave the other ones alone, until the season is right. Until the season is right. Because once you have so many thoughts, you know, you start going crazy. You know, you, you can't slow them down. You don't know which ones to slow down, which ones to keep. It's real, man. While I'm seeing, I'm in this conversation. Think about your thoughts. Control your thoughts. Know you, what your thoughts are. Know if they're yours or someone else's. Mind over matter. But if you don't mind, it don't matter. Peace.